This is a tutorial from LearnWebsiteDesign.com and it's going to cover forms and how to create forms. Now to create a form you use the opening form tag and the closing form tag. Now a form, tag, a form by itself does nothing. A form is simply a container for form elements and attributes which are will do the work. Now I'm going to refresh, refresh the web page which contains a form and as you can tell there is absolutely nothing there. Now the open form tag should contain an action attribute and a method attribute. The action attribute specifies where you want the information that is submitted um, to be sent. In this case I'm going to put just form.php and the method attribute specifies how you want the information to be sent. Um, now there are two methods. There is the post method and there is the get method. Now unless there is a specific reason for using the get method, I'd recommend you use the post method um, just because it's a little bit more secure. Now the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to create a text field. Now a text field is created using a, an input tag and an input tag is a self-enclosing tag so you want to close it um, to make it to make uh, to make this web page XHTML compliant now to do that you end the input tag with a blank space a forward slash and then you close it with the anchor bracket now to create a text field you use the type attribute with the keyword value of text I'm going to save this document. I'm going to reload the web page on which it's on, and I have a text field. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a password field. Now, once again, you also use the input tag, you use the type attribute, and the keyword value is going to be the word password. I save the document, I refresh the web page and I have a password field now. Now to create a submit button I use the input tag within the input tag I once again use the type attribute and the keyword value is going to be the word submit. Now save the document. I reload the web page and I have a submit button. Next I'm going to show you how to create a text area. Now to create a text area, use the opening and the closing text area uh, tags. I save the document, reload the web page, and I have a text area now. Next I'm going to show you how to create checkboxes. And to create a checkbox use an input tag for the type attribute you have the keyword of checkbox And just to make it a little bit more clear, I'm going to create two checkboxes. Once again, I save the document. 
I refresh the web page and I have two checkboxes. Next I'm going to show you how to create radio boxes or radio buttons better, uh, better said. Now to create a radio button you also use the input tag You use the type attribute. Now the keyword value for radio a radio button is going to be the word radio. Now you also have to include the attribute of value. Now the value keyword can be whatever you specify and um, in this case I'm going to put just option one for the first one. And in the next case of the second radio button, I'm going to put option two. I'm going to save the web page, and now I should have two radio buttons. Radio button one, radio button two. Now just to go over a few of the items, now on text fields you can also specify the size of the text field. And you can also do this with the password field. In this case I'm going to specify that it has a size of 100. I save the document and I'm going to have a text a text field with a size of 100. I'm also going to show you how to pre-include text within a text field. In this case the text I'm going to put the I'm going I'm going to include the the text tutorial within the text field. I'm going to save the document reload the web page and automatically the text at the tu tutorial is pre-included within the text field. Now I'm also going to show you how to pre-include pre text within the submit button. Now for the to pre-include text Or to spec better said to specify the text that is um, on the submit the submit button, use the value attribute. Now, whatever text you want to be, uh, you want that you want to be included on top of the text button. That is that is the text that you're going to put as the keyword value. In this case, in this case, I'm going to have the text submit button on top of the actual button. In this case, because I'm using Firefox, the default text is submit query, but I reload the page and I had the text submit button um, on top of the button. This has been a tutorial from learnwebsitedesign.com and feel free to rate this tutorial um, and give any uh, constructive comments and you can also go to to my website to learn about forms in more detail. Thank you.